All right, sweet. We're live. Coming at you from Duluth, Georgia. Beef Studio. Um, so we got some samples. I just got them. Just downloaded them from my email a whole like 10 seconds before I started this broadcast. Um, so we're going to check them out. I haven't even unzipped them yet, so I'll let you know. You know, I don't listen to these things before I make stuff. I'll just come in here, check them out, pick out a few that I like, um, at least one. Usually I pick out like two, three, four. Um, he said they were kind of basic tonight, which is fine. Um, last week I kind of went through and used a lot of um, a lot of sound toys stuff. Uh, and I'll probably do the same this week because I'm still kind of exploring those plugins and watching tutorials and um, trying to use them um, a lot for sound design, but also in um like my regular mixing because there's a few like uh the decapitator um saturation plug-in that is really cool and also has like really good applications for like vocals and drums and other stuff and then echo boy is a really really great reverb uh super easy to dial in the sound is like super quality so um i'm kind of fucking with that a little bit too so we may go in with that if uh, if I had more of a natural direction, but I don't have any idea what I'm working with. So we'll see uh, we'll see what it is. Let's go ahead and um, unzip this bad boy. We'll get rid of the uh, get rid of the zip file. Open this folder up. Okay. Oh, 62 BPM. Okay. Oh, we got some weird. We're gonna be fucking with some weird BPMs today. Acoustic guitar, ambient lead. Let's see what this sounds like. Is he going to play it, or are you just going to be weird? Okay. Okay, so both of those are super wet with reverb, and it's harder to take reverb out than it is to put it in. Um, so um, I may come back to them, because sometimes I can use something that's super wet with reverb and just saturate the fuck out of it and make it sound cool and get it into a mix. Um, let's see, let's keep going. Okay, I'm definitely going to take that because I can actually, even if I just want to take one note from that, just that one little pluck, just that do, whichever one is longest, and then I can turn it into something else if I want to. Um, Echo Guitar 119. Okay, piano chords, G major. Cool. Okay. Okay, that's pretty cool. from that thing I could be brown I could be sky I could be purple I could be yeah okay that's cool I like that I'm gonna take that um 
119 is a fucking weird BPM, so I might I might bump it up to 120 and and do Ben Marker and just stretch it out that extra BPM. Uh, let's see if there's anything else we want to hear. We got that echo guitar that's in G sharp. <laughs> This is another one I think I might just take the take the lead from. All right. So that's enough. We got a few things to start off with. Um, I just pulled them out onto my other screen here. You can't really see them, just so I can draw, uh, drag and drop them into the doll when I'm ready for them. Um, so yeah, we just got a empty session opened up here. Um, so the first one I think I'm gonna bring in this wavy guitar. Um, so it's at 119. It looks a little low there. So we can see, I might just take four bars from this. Um, and maybe I can slow it down um, and get it on to 120. Well, it's pretty close. That's good enough for me. Um, and if it's good enough for me, it's good enough for you. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to pull this out so I got some room to work with it. Um, so we also got this uh, ambient acoustic guitar. Let me get this loop straight first. Let me see if I can. Uh, so I could probably just duplicate it and we'll see uh, I'll see if we can do this Let's see if we can just bump them together right there. okay so that sounds all right um So really what I want to do, I need to get some extra space here. And let's see if we can just like cut a little hair out of here and duplicate it and uh, group it together and see if it isn't going to sound fucking weird. I don't know if this is going to fucking work at all, to be totally honest with you. Um, um, and then let's just group all this together. No, it's like a regular loop. Oops. Duplicate. Okay. Cool. So, I mean, that was a little bit easier than it, you know, might have been if I had to go through and stretch each note with a bend marker. So, I just cut the sample up, and it was it was a little bit short. Um, but when I when I slowed it down uh, to one point zero one uh, speed, or sped it up rather um just by one one hundredths of a bpm um it made it a little bit shorter than the eight bars so i just duplicated it over drug it back to where it was closer to being right on because chances are at the beginning i'll just let it play by itself so it won't really matter if it's super on beat uh, and then i pulled it back just a hair and then which made, gave it even more room at the end so then i just cut up some of that uh the residual note at the end um and put it on there and group it together and it just so happened to work sometimes that doesn't work um because it might make it sound a little too wavy in the transition uh but this particular time it worked just fine so uh we're gonna move on uh because i already got i got a cool 16 right here of this so that's uh it's a good place to start it's grouped in to where it's on the bar so that's gonna make it a little easier for me to work with um and now i just kind of like it's already got a really good tone to it but you know, I got to kind of, I want to make it my own. Um, so I'm going to bring in that, um, I'm going to bring in the decapitator saturator, decapitator saturator. Um, and I want to see if I can't fuck with it a little bit. Just some like a little, uh, like gentle saturation. I'm not going to go crazy with it. 
Um, and there might be some cool, we can start with the default, maybe. Um, let's see. Let's see, push it hard. So that's, that's pretty heavy right there. It's got the punish on, so we're going to turn that off. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'm going to low cut it a little bit higher. Okay, so that's cool. Um, so it's low cut up pretty hot. I had that mix at 100%. This was cool, kind of cool about the saturator is that automatically um, it, you can you can set the mix. So if I wanted to hear some of the, if I want to hear some of the draw tone. So it's kind of like doing parallel processing there for me. So I'm able to turn the drive up a little bit more if I dial that mix knob back. Um, it's, this is also cool because it kind of game matches for you. Um, if you have this auto on, if you see when I turn the when I turn the drive knob up, it turns the output down. So I have the drive at about six. So it dials it back to where it's in the at the right um, at the right stage of game that I want it. So I, I'm literally just hearing the saturation because a lot of times when you're using a saturation plugin, you turn that motherfucker up, it's going to turn the volume up, so it's automatically going to sound better. It's also it just affects the way you hear it in general. But um, with this, it kind of it kind of does that for you, so you can really dial in like the amount of saturation that you want. So um, that's pretty cool. Um, I like that. I like how that sounds. It's a good place to start. Um, so now I think I'm going to start pulling apart this uh, this acoustic guitar, um, this ambient thing. We can put this in the background. This is at 62. Um, so I can speed this up. Um, let's see. Wait, is it? Oh, no, it's the other way. So I want to be like 0 0.99. Okay, and then we'll try 0.98, and we'll see if we can get closer. 0.98 okay on 0.97 maybe really I could be doing math for this shit but I don't like doing math so I'm not um, maybe if we do 0.96 maybe it'll be right on the bar maybe we'll get lucky oh no not even close okay 0.97 is the closest um, also these are audio files so they might be like perfectly on we'll listen to it So this is in G, that's in G sharp. So I should just be able to transpose this up to one and it should work. Okay, so I know one thing I wanna do, I wanna take out that first note. So I'm like... So I'm just gonna take this out. And then take the first part of this out okay and then I want to cut this and this is going to make it sound a lot more like it's uh, like it's actually on beat and plus it's going to give me a little more room to do different shit with it let's see where this fucking note is so it's like right there, maybe. Okay. Um, da -da -da. So I'm gonna do these all like big kind of like volume swells, kind of like this. We'll just these are just fade in, fade ins and outs, so it can kind of sound a little warbly there in the background. I'm probably gonna super since it's already super reverb. I'm probably just gonna put some more on it and just get it way in the background. I might fuck it up a little bit though. We'll see what we we'll see. Um, 
so that's pretty cool. And we'll see if this will uh, let's see if this will duplicate out right for me. No, of course it won't. Why would it? Why would you want to work right? Oh, I don't have my snap to grid on, so it's definitely not gonna fucking work right. Um, bomb. We'll try to duplicate it out again. I know it goes on the four of the first bar. Oh, there we go. Now that I snapped it to the grid, it did what it was supposed to do because I did what I was supposed to do. Um, yeah. So, let us see. trying to use my brain to see what I want to do next um I can go ahead and I want to do a little bit of okay so another one that I was talking about I wanted to use some more was the echo boy so we're going to use that since we got all that uh reverb in there uh, we could throw some echoes on this and make it sound cool. Um, and one thing I want to do first is put the mix all the way wet because I'm in the sand channel. Not doing a lot here. We're going to low cut this pretty high. I... I don't like how this plugin doesn't have a hurt. So I actually have like have to listen uh, <laughs> to, to what it's, um, what it's echoing. Um, I guess it's probably good for me to practice using my ears, but sometimes I don't want to do that. Sometimes I know what frequency I want to hear. And so if I can't see it, um, I don't know. Sound toys, please update um, something so I can see what fucking frequency I'm cutting and boosting. All right. Um, let's see. Okay. Oh, let's keep it on eighth notes. I just I want to be able to hear it. I can't even hear it right now. short Maybe it needs to be um, let's see 16th triplets quarter triplets Okay, that might come back to bite me in the ass uh, later, but we'll see. Uh, just because it's echoing really long and kind of like reverbing into the uh, next one because it's pulling the reverb. Um, it's pull, it's echoing the reverb as well. Uh, so that, that might make my mix sound fucked up. But I'm going to do it anyway because I like the way it sounds right now. If I got to go back and change it, yeah, I can't. I don't have to print anything. So um, yeah, we're going to keep rocking here and see how they sound together. So I kind of hear just like some shakers, just like some. 
You know what I never use is fucking loops. I don't even know if I've ever even clicked <laughs> loops in Studio One. Let's try it. Fuck it, you know? Um, I have to do everything in the box on this stream. Normally I record live instruments. Like if I wanted a shaker, I went I have a fucking slew of shakers. I could just But let's see if we can find one. Um, let's see if we can find one in one of maybe folk drums. Loop. Oh, no. Oh, this is very okay. Uh, minimal, multi. Um, full. I don't even know what any of these are. Loop, dark, minimal, modern, percussive. This is like, there's not a lot in here. Maybe I have clicked on this before and I was like, oh, there's nothing in here for me. Percussion, one shot. Um, oh my god, what is all this shit? Okay, I don't care about any of that. Okay, um, world, percussion, loop. That's kind of cool. We can fuck that up. All right. Uh, anybody hating on me for your views of the loop? I don't fucking care. Um, this, this loop is kind of fucked anyway. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some stuff with it. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's go back. We're gonna we're gonna keep using sound toys. I use sound toys on pretty much everything last time because I'm trying to learn it. So you guys have to fucking suffer through that with me. Um, so let's let's see if there's any crazy uh, just drum presets. Um, fat bottom drums. Okay, so we got Phase Mistress and Devil Lock, which is another uh, saturation machine, kind of. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, I re um, now that I've grouped these together, it's not going to let me fucking... Um, all right, whatever. I'll just uh, create an automation track for it. Volume and the weavy guitar chords. Because uh, I want this to dive down like this. Bow. Okay. Here you turn. I'll delete this last one. I'm going to fade these drums out. All right. Um and then we're going to we're going to bring this back in. I kind of see this as being kind of like a kind of like a housey-ish song, so I think I'm just going to find some uh I'm just going to find me a cool kick drum to put in here. Um, and we're just going to kind of build it up. We're just going to kind of maybe just use the same, the same bass. Like this is going to be our bass now. Um, and we're going to, let's shoot, for, let's shoot for four minutes. I don't ever really do long songs. So we're just going to go four minutes, a four minute house song. That's 418. We're going to go for four on the dot. I don't want an extra 18 seconds. Okay. There's 402. Okay. Um, so now we're going to move on to the next section. Um, so I'm going to do 16 bars at a time. Uh, I definitely want a kick drum. So I want a kick drum that's like, I want it to sound really housey. And, and maybe I'll, uh, let's see. I know Christian has some drums, one shots, kicks, um, kick beats. Let's see.
Okay. Kind of what I'm looking for right there. Okay, so we're just gonna we're just gonna put it on. Whoops, we're gonna put it on. Put it on all fours, baby. Four on the floor. Okay. And we're gonna run that out. I'm gonna run this out the rest of the song. This is this is how we're gonna do this. We're just gonna build this up, and maybe in certain parts I'll uh, I'll kind of cut stuff. Um, but I'm just gonna run out each 16 bars and try to kind of, uh, kind of build it up. Uh, and then I think I wanna, I want a snare to come in here. Um... Let's keep, I'll just keep using Christian stuff. His stuff is always super solid. Um, let's see. Perk loop. Kick. Um, I think I'll remember what the first two things are, hopefully. Oh, uh, wait. Let me see. Am I fading out this? No, just there. Okay, good. I wanted to double check my volume display to make sure I wasn't fading after that first fade. Well, I, which I might fade it out again. Um, but we'll see. Alright, so I was saying I wanted to bring in a snare right here somewhere. Okay. Um, let's find one. Snare. Um, let's, let's see. I don't want it to be a dubstep. It may be heavy. Okay, that's not terrible. Okay, so. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna run that out too. This whole thing is going to look like a fucking, um, it's going to look like a damn cell phone tower <laughs> going down. It's just going to go like this. It's all downhill from here, baby. change we can do some kind of lead in through here uh this is a good place to bring in this uh bell's music box so i'm gonna bring this in um boom and i really just want to take one note from this and and play my own lead i'll do it myself damn it i'll do it myself <laughs> So I think the first note is this note right here uh, is going to be good. So we're going to cut that out. I'm going to get as much of it as I can. I'm going to right click. I'm going to send it to sample one. Audio. Send to sample one. Um, boom. Then we're going to see what note this is. Um, so I'm going to go to my effects. I'm going to grab a tuner. So I want to get it on to where it's, it's fucking middle C. First off, I need to turn these this down sample rate so I can actually play. Hopefully, all my all my um, all my plugins that I have on there right now hopefully aren't gonna bog me down. My processor doesn't like um, using plugins and streaming at the same time. 
So that's an A. So what we're going to do is we're going to tune it up. One, two, three. We're going to tune it up three semitones. And that should say C on this tuner now. Cool. And I know that I'm in G sharp. So uh, I can play in the G sharp scale. Starting at this one. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Because I just want that one note. I can bring it back if I want. It's still, it's still over there. G sharp major? Is it? sharp instead of g sharp i was like what the, why the fuck is this not working okay uh we're gonna set this loop and just like okay uh so i'm also gonna go back into sound toys and i'm gonna create an effect rack and i'm going to try to go ahead and modulate the sound to how i want it to sound because that will kind of affect how i play the part um, so I really want this just to go nuts. So I want to bring in this effect rack and uh, we're going to see if we can just find like some, some just spaces. All right, let's see. Uh, starlight. That sounds crazy as fuck. Let's, oh, that's just one reverb. Let's see. Sound design. Stiletto resonator. Okay. We'll see what that sounds like. It's a little bit detuned for kind of what I'm looking for, um, but I think we're in the in the right place, maybe. Okay, it's a little late when I'm playing it. It's not really on it, so it's not gonna really let me uh, do it. Requesting quiet. That's long as fuck. Let's see. Cool. So some of those notes, if I play an octave down, so I'm like, uh, what whatever one down from middle C is, um, is like, it's kind of cool because it kind of sounds like it's playing with the guitar notes, so it kind of blends back and forth, and the tone is actually kind of similar somehow. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do something like that. It's just gonna kind of have like a little chill kind of come in. Um, we're gonna go ahead and give me a metronome to start in. I'm gonna turn the regular metronome off though.
Um, cool. So I like that. That's the first little uh, like lead part. I don't think I'm going to repeat that. I think I'm just going to let it chill. I am going to quantize it, though. Um, and let's listen to it again. through the song so i think i want to do maybe some like cuts just let uh just let the percussion run out um okay i don't want it to run out that long we're gonna do about half of that turn my um snap to grid back on i'm gonna cut the oops not that one i'm gonna cut this guy we're gonna cut maybe just this one. And then I'm gonna do, we're gonna cut these and these. Uh, and then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna automate them to where they're really low so they kinda like come in. Fuck it, I want to make it super low. So I'm just making these uh, quieter by doing this. And I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to do the same thing with these snares. So these are going to come down pretty far to three and then I want to take this one and I'm going to duplicate it whoops just kidding duplicate it I'm going to put it right before the other one like this I'm going to reverse it <laughs> Turn this down a little bit so it's just kind of. Okay, so let's see how that whole group sounds. Okay, I don't like that in there. Um... So that's kind of cool. Um, and then I'm going to start right here. Um, I'm going to go on and do uh, another lead part. So this time I kind of want something a little bit more aggressive, a little, little bit more saturated. Um, since that one was so like chill and in the background, we're going to do something up a couple octaves maybe. Um, let's see. Go into my instruments here. Um... General Girth. Thank, thank you, man. Oh, that screen name is dope. We like that. General Girth. I'm not sure who you are if we know each other, but what's up? Um, so I'm going to pick out something. So I got this new pack not super long ago. I've been trying to use it. If you guys haven't noticed, I test drive like all my new fucking plugins on you guys. So um, I want to I wanna play with some of the keys in here because some of them are kind of basic sounding. 
Um, and then I can like fuck it up in the plugin, and then I think I'm also gonna fuck it up on the sound toys effect rack. If well, I don't know, there's pretty decent like saturation and stuff in here. Well, let's see what we can find. So, um, I set this loop up here for another for the next 16 bars after that little dropout, um, and I'm just gonna like pluck around down here on the uh, on the piano on my MIDI keyboard as I spin this loop to see if I can find anything that I like. So that's super chill. So let's see. Um, okay, so that's got a little bit more aggressive. Uh, we can put some crush on it right here. Okay. That's kind of got a crazy overtone to it. Okay, so that phaser is okay. That reverb doesn't sound amazing. Um, so I can also like go into like the sound of this and I can like change, um, I can change the basic like, oscillator, but what I really want to do is go to effects cause I want a quick result with this. I don't want to sit here all day and like try to sound design from the, uh, actual synthesizer. I don't, I don't know why wants to see me fucking do that. So, and I don't want to sit here and do it myself. Um, so we got some tape saturation on here already, so we can roll off um is that on okay there we go so we can gain it up and then roll off roll off this high frequency down to like 12 is fine warped dom sounds fine um that's really weird most of the time knobs all the way up or all the way down don't sound great but that's pretty good all right let's spin it and see what this sounds like sharp major scale we'd be doing good um yeah so that sounds pretty cool to me um i don't really think i need to fuck it up any further than that i'm just gonna go ahead and and click in and just play something if i fuck it up i'll go back and fix it or i'll do it again all right here we go <laughs> already fucked up here we go So I fucked up one note in there. I played a, uh, where is it? Um, is that it? I think that's it. I played a, I played a B. Nope, there it is. Instead of A, C. Well, okay. Now it should all be good. Um... <laughs>
so we've gone pretty far into this. I'm at about at the uh, at the three minute mark. So I just want to go all the way back to the beginning and see if I can see anything that sticks out. Like, because um, I just kind of been cruising through sixteen by sixteen, eight by eight. Um, see if I can see anything that sounds like really crazy that I just really don't like. Um, uh, so let's do that. cool so structurally it sounds cool kind of like it kind of flows and bobs a little bit um one thing that i hear in, in like the uh in the guitars it sounds really like it sounds like di guitar to me it's got that like uh in this in this acoustic one it's got that really pingy sound to it so i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try to warm that up because it's kind of driving me nuts okay um did that work uh, oh shit, I better fucking save this before I start pulling Arturia plugins in here. Oh, that is an instrument. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, take my LFI. Okay, so this has like an EQ in it that'll hopefully kind of warm this some bitch up. Okay. Okay, boom. Super easy. Okay, cool. That was way easier. Okay, um, so that sounds a lot better. Let's see how it sounds in the mix with everything else. So the next thing I want to bring in right here is uh, 
I want to bring in some hats because we haven't had any hats uh, through this whole thing. We kind of got that uh, rhythm section kind of flowing. Oh, it sounds kind of cool, but we can we can use some hats. Um, so let's see if we got some. Uh, well, we got some. Uh, yeah, let's use a shaker instead. Fuck it. going ribbit ribbit wait where did i just put that somewhere crazy let's get it not somewhere crazy throughout the whole thing so we can maybe go down one and then down two that would be kind of cool duplicate down three duplicate down four duplicate down five and this is going to be like chromatic going down um how many a lot um we're, we're gonna do it maybe eight Duplicate down six, duplicate down seven. So that should be eight since the first one is fine. <laughs> Fuck it, let's make it, let's make it 16. Why not? Okay, cool. Um, and now I can just run this out. This is percussion, so I wanted to run through the rest of the song. So we're going to run three more times. Um, another lead still in there with uh with the shaker here um where where it starts um or really maybe just a pad i kind of I, I don't have any pads in here um so let's go back and um you know what we'll do we'll put something analog in here um i do like arturia's analog lab so we're gonna try that out oh shit i should have saved it i think this crashed my computer before fuck Saving now. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Let's see some pads. Let's go uh, see atmosphere. See what that sounds like. That's pretty intense. Um, what the fuck? Oh, 
Okay, cool. Fuck it. I'm just gonna I'm gonna play that and I'm gonna play it with the uh with the LFO. Um let me open this back up. <laughs> That's pretty much all I want to do. Um, and now, I don't think there's a lot of mixing I want to do either. I kind of did it as I went along. Um, everything, I, it was just kind of moving faders and as I brought different um, elements of the song in and trying to keep up with it. And, like, I didn't really need a lot of EQing. I kind of, you know, talked through what I did as I did it. And since it kind of, like, builds up through the whole thing, it should be pretty good. Um, so in classic house style, I'm going to... Um, I'm just going to like throw everything into a big um, a mastering compressor um, and we're just going to punch the fuck out of it. And see. Okay, so that's fine. Um, just a just a preset and I kind of want to uh, I kind of want to just put I'm going to saturate the whole thing too. I'm going to just put this uh, magic preset on it. kind of make everything nice and clear um and then i'm gonna go through i'm gonna put a limiter on it um just a soft clip uh limiter at zero db um and we're gonna pump it we're gonna pump it up a couple dbs even though it's kind of clipping and see what it sounds like <laughs> Honestly, I'm I'm like pretty happy with that. Um, I have no um, I have no issues with that. It's that mastering volume. I kind of mix it as I went along. Sorry, you're not gonna get like a long. Um, this is me mixing this uh, track tonight. Um, but that's kind of what this has turned into. Is like I kind of mix it as I go because I kind of want to like make the sounds as I go and like create the the vibe for the song. Um, I know a couple times I've done it where I'm like I'm not gonna put plugins on anything or really fuck with anything's volume. Uh, until the end so i can do like an actual like mix um but it sounds pretty good to me in my in my headphones right now 
Um, so I'm I'm about to I'm about to wrap it. I'm one hour. Boom. Uh, there's a one hour four minute house song. It's kind of cool. Um, maybe. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this ready to um, export. Um, so this is TA Twitch seven point thirteen point twenty two. And we're going to put it, I have a Twitch folder somewhere in my 2021 mix downs. Dot, 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 TA Twitch. There it is. Boom. So, yeah, um, we're going to start it out. I'm going to mute my microphone so I can listen to it over my monitors. And, yeah, I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I don't really make house music. I don't even know if this is really considered house music. It's some kind of form for dance music at 120 I may mean, have pump everything up to 2028 at the very end that'd be funny um yeah it's kind of slow it's not actually how so whatever um yeah so yeah i'm gonna cut my mic thank you for tuning in those of you tuned in um we do this every week for the most part all right night night hope you like it